Hello, everybody. Welcome to Yoga and Health with Carrie. My name is Carrie Williams. I'm a physical therapist and yoga instructor. And today, for our chair yoga, we're going to do yoga on the ball. So the first thing to know about doing yoga on the ball is that it is a little less stable. So if you have balance issues, you may want to either have somebody here who can guard you, protect you, be safe during this, or it may just be a good idea to skip it. The other important thing to know is that you want to be at about a 90 degree angle. So your knees should be at about 90 degrees and your hips should be at about 90 degrees too. So once you've done all of that set up, maybe have a couple of blocks on hand. Go ahead and sit yourself comfortably on, this, on the ball. You may want to roll back and forth to start out with so that you feel what it feels like to be in different positions on the ball. And then settle somewhere in the middle so that your back is up nice and straight. Place your hands on your knees and close your eyes for a second. If it's safe for you to close your eyes, there will be a little bit more of a balance challenge when you close your eyes. And as you do that, feel yourself seated on the ball. Maybe you're noticing yourself wiggling back and forth on the ball, and that's okay. Come into a sense of stability, even as you wiggle. Those little movements that your body does, is your body protecting you and keeping you safe? and helping you stay up on the ball. So that's the good thing. And now move up into the sensations in your, in your chest and your belly, observing your breath. Notice where in your body you feel the breath and where you, Maybe you feel a little bit of stiffness. On your next exhale, take your right ear to your right shoulder. And allow the left shoulder to just melt down your side. And just feel the sensation in your neck. And you can keep your eyes open for this part. On the next exhale, roll your chin to chest. And inhale, left ear to left shoulder. Allowing your right shoulder to melt down your side. Come into the sensation of your neck and observe what happens with your balance when you do just a small little change. Roll your chin to chest, right ear to right shoulder, and bring your head back up. Inhale, bring your hands down around and up. If it's comfortable, they can Clasp together up high, exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms move down, around and up. Feel your arms reach towards the sky without having to bring your shoulders high. So shoulders stay relaxed. If you want to keep your hands further apart, this can be more comfortable if you have shoulder pain. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale one more time, bring your arms down, around and up, and exhale. This time, bring your hands all the way down. If you can't reach the floor, you can put two blocks down. And then just allow your entire back to melt down. Head melts towards the floor. If this causes any pain in your neck or your back, you can skip it. Inhale, half lift 
so that your hands are still on the blocks or floor, but you're lifting your head up towards the front of the wall, the front of the room. Your back is nice and straight, maybe even extending a little bit. Exhale, melt forwards again. Inhale, bring your hands down, arms and up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, hands up. Feel your shoulders melt down. Feel your tummy engaged. Exhale, hands to floor, blocks, head melts towards the floor. Chin really tucks into your neck further than you think it should. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, melt down again. Inhale, bring your hands down, arms and up. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, your hands down, around and up. Exhale, down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands to the block. Inhale, hands down, arms and up. And this time, step forward. Bring your knees directly over your ankles. Roll forward so that you're on the edge of the ball. Your hands are going up. This is modified chair pose. You should still be on the ball, but your legs should be working a little bit. Take a few breaths here. Feel your tummy pulled in. Feel your rib cage expand outwards as you breathe in. And feel your tummy pull into the back of your spine as you exhale. On your next inhale, you can place your hands down if you need to. And we'll take small baby steps to the right. And then bring your leg back so that you are in a lunge. Make sure your knee is directly over your ankle. Push through your feet so that you almost come off the ball. Feel your tummy pull in. Inhale, bring your hands down, around and up. Exhale, bring your hands onto the ball for a gentle twist. And stay here for a few breaths. Push through your feet. Feel your head lengthen towards the sky. Inhale, and back up. Exhale, rotate back. Inhale, your arms towards the ceiling, soften your shoulders. Exhale, into the twist. One more time. Inhale, your hands up. Exhale, the twist. And on your next inhale, keep your hands here. You're going to just kind of baby step your foot back. And if you can't make it all the way back so your leg is straight, don't worry about that. You can hang out anywhere that's doable for you. Walk yourself back to the center. Inhale, bring your hands down, around and up. And exhale, hands on the ball as you baby step into a lunge on the left. Push through both feet. If you can, go up on your tiptoes in the back foot. Push so that you're almost coming off the ball. Feel your tummy pull into the hug your spine. Feel your rib cage expanding outwards. And bring your hands down around and up. Exhale into a twist. So stay here for a few breaths. Push to both feet. Feel your left hip coming towards the front of the room. You push through the back foot. And inhale, bring your hands up. Exhale and twist. Inhale, bring your hands up. Exhale. 
exhale and rotate towards the ball. Inhale, your hands up. Exhale towards the ball. And this time, slowly start to bring your foot back around to the front. And take a few breaths here. Notice how your legs feel, how your back feels after doing that. We did a little bit of a twist and some work through the legs. And I'm going to move to the side to demonstrate this next pose. We're going to do modified bridge pose on the ball. So you're going to take your feet slowly out. And you can stop at any point that you need to. I'm going to walk all the way out into bridge. I'm going to point my toes towards the side of the room. Knees stay together. Hips reach up towards the sky. And exhale. Walk slowly back up. Inhale. Walk your feet back out nice and slowly. If this is enough of a challenge for you, you can stay here. If you want to increase the challenge, take your right foot and put it out a little bit further forward so that it's resting on the heel. And then really feel your hips reach up towards the sky. Hold it for three, for two, for one. Come back up. Last one. Walk your feet out. If you put your right heel out, now you can put your left heel out. Hang out here for three, for two, one second, and then slowly walk yourself back up. Come back around for chair pose, for tree pose. So lift your right leg up. If you can straighten it, that's great. Hands on hips. If you can't straighten it, just lift it up. Push through your left heel so that you feel the back of your leg engage. I'm going to stay here for a little bit. See if you can work this balance. Inhale, bring your hands down around up one more time. If you need to soften the elbows, you can. Otherwise, you can lift them towards the sky. And exhale, slowly bring your hands to heart center. Slowly, slowly lower your foot to the ground so that it gently lands on the floor. Inhale, your left leg up. And bring your hands back to your hips. Push again this time through the right foot so that you feel the engagement through your leg. Stay here a little bit longer. If you want to straighten the leg, you can. If you want to bring your hands down, round and up, you can do that. Soften your shoulders. Feel your tummy pull in. Notice how much more those hips are working than they were at the beginning. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Slowly, slowly lower your foot up, down. The next thing we're going to do is a figure four stretch. So bring your right leg. You may want to use a wall for support for this. It's designed to be more of a stretch, but there will be a little bit of a balance challenge too. So bring your right foot, if you can, 
up onto your last knee. If this is too hard, you can just cross your ankle. It was actually harder to fall, so, so you may want a little bit of support. If it's comfortable for you, you can lean forward. I don't recommend pushing on your knee. That can cause you to overstretch and put pressure onto the knee. But you can hold on at the thigh, at the foot, or at some blocks of floor below you. And see if you notice any sensation in your right hip. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold forward. And then inhale slowly. Roll your spine up, allowing your head to be the last thing to come. And lower your leg. Inhale, bring your left foot over your right knee or ankle. Make sure you get yourself nice and steady and place your hands on your foot and the ball or the outside of your leg. Exhale, and if it's comfortable and safe for you, you can roll forward. Allow the head to melt down. Observe the sensation in your left hip. No need to judge it, just observe. If you roll down on your next Inhale, half lift your head towards the front of the room. Exhale, melt the head back down. And inhale, roll your, your spine up one vertebrae at a time, allowing the head to be the last thing to come. And exhale, bring your foot back down. And for the last, we're going to do Shavasana. If uh, you want to transition to a real chair, you can do that. I'm going to show an option to do Shavasana on the floor. So if it's safe for you to get on the floor, you can do that. You can put the ball right next to you so you can put your legs up on it. Relax your head down. If you want a pillow on your head, you can do that. Lift the shoulder blades under your chest so that your hands fall outward. If you want to let your knees fall out, now you can. Let's stay here for a few moments. Allowing everything you did in this class to integrate into your body.
Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Roll your wrist and ankle. Allow the depth to return to your breath, allowing your breath to get bigger. If you're in a seat, you can stay there. If you're on the floor, you can use the ball to roll yourself to your left side. Take a moment here to thank yourself for showing up for this class. Keeping your eyes closed, push through your hands to come up to a seat. You want to use the ball to help you fall up you can. Bring your hands to heart center and bow your chin. Allow your eyes to slowly flicker open so you just Begin to see your fingertips. Bring your hands to your forehead. Namaste.